Hi, this is Lisa Cato. I am an automation architect and a high level certified admin and we design automated customer journeys. So today I'm going to walk you through how you can populate custom values using a form in high level. Let's head over into the app. You're going to want to have a control account which has a form with custom fields on it that are going to match the custom values that you want to populate. Now, when that form is submitted from your central control account, you're going to want to populate the different locations. One thing to note is if you are loading a new snapshot, if those custom values already exist in the sub account, the loading of that snapshot will fail. So make sure that you're either loading those sub accounts with their custom values as a separate snapshot or you're loading the custom value separately. You've now got a submitted form and you want to populate those custom values. So I'm showing you this inside of Make, but it's the same principle inside of Zapier and Pably. So the first thing the webhook's going to do is it's going to search the user and the user must be the email address that is on the business settings inside of the sub account. It's then going to look up the location for that user and then find the access token. Then it's going to go and grab the custom values and then it's going to update the custom values. It's important to have an error handler on here because if it tries to populate custom values where there is no value coming in, it is going to break. Inside of here, you're provided with a script, which is really handy. This is the value key of the custom value without the curly brackets. So all we're putting in here from the previous steps is the access token, the custom values, uh, so that it's looking up the ID with the script and then finding the name as per what you've got in your sub accounts, the location ID, which is from the previous step, which it's found over here. And then we've got the name of the custom value and the value from the original webhook. Now, what is this tool, Curated Admin? This is what I'm going to share with you, developed by the fabulous Jacob Radcliffe, who has created for us tools so that it is super easy to just get this done. This now takes us... With